Okay, this is another blended tutorial. We're going to do part two of the curved text. The water looks good. The text looks good. The wall looks good. We're going to make the water look better. We're going to try to make it look a little bit more realistic by adding transparent water. But before we add transparent water, we need to add a base to the water. Okay, let's go into overhead and A, and we want to add another mesh. Mesh plane, zero, zero, and we're going to make this below the water, so let's put it at negative, negative one. And again, we're going to make it 10 by 10. We'll rename this. And we'll add a new material. We can add a little more specular. And we'll add a texture to it. New texture. This texture is going to be an image texture. Again, you can use whatever you want. but I'm going to go with the brickstone concrete section again. And I'm going to choose the rock floor. Okay, let's go to the front view. We can use numpad one. Now, uh, if we try to render this, We need to go to the water and we need to make, turn on transparency and ray tracing. We're going to bump the Fresnel up to three and we're going to have a slight refraction. Now we're going to render this. And we don't see the rock floor. The reason for this is that ray tracing doesn't make the lights go through an object. It has to have direct lighting in order to work. So let's duplicate these lights. And we need to put the Z value just below the water. And render. Okay, it's hard to tell, but you can see the rock floor here. The problem with the rock floor is the map is being stretched. Okay, sorry, I chose the wrong image. I actually want field stone. That looks better. So let's render that again. Okay, again, you can see the pattern, but it's rather large. So we need to repeat. And we'll crank it to four. And now you can see the stone pattern a little bit better. So this makes the water look a little bit more realistic. So that completes this lesson on how to make curved text on a path and to make a more realistic water scene using transparency and mirroring. And that completes this lesson. Don't forget to save your file.